We are here in Boston Public Garden, right in the center of Boston. A beautiful uh, late August afternoon, right after a thunderstorm. And we're looking at a very little known statue. I should say little known today because when it was built, it was the pride of the city. And it was uh, the ether statue. It was here to commemorate the use of ether. And it was uh, commissioned by a Thomas Lee who was a private citizen of Boston and not a physician, but he was a uh, supporter of the Harvard Medical School. And like the statue in Plymouth, Massachusetts, the Forefathers Monument, it is rich in Christian allegory. And uh, let me just sort of walk you through it a little bit. This is a pool, of course, uh, to uh, represent the Pool of Bethesda where healing happened. And the top of the statue, which is granite and marble, is the Good Samaritan. And then we see here, let me just read the writing here. To commemorate the discovery that the inhaling of ether causes insensibility to pain, first proved to the world at the Mass General Hospital in Boston, October of 1846. And by the way, there was uh, an ancestor of ours, a uh, shirtless ancestor of mine, that was uh, that was in the ether dome when this happened. I think it was Dr. George Shirtliff. Anyway, um, let me take, take a walk around the statue to show you some of the uh, Christian allegory here. Here you see the angel of mercy and you see a quote from the book of Revelations, neither shall there be any more pain. And then on this side of the statue it was actually the Civil War that made the use of ether uh, more popular, really all over the world here. Uh, there's the, uh, a sort of a field hospital. And even though it wasn't as widely used, in use, it was still uh, catching on, so to speak. In gratitude for the relief of human suffering by the inhaling of ether, a citizen of Boston has erected this monument. And this monument here was, eight, was erected in 1867 and uh, there's some my family history mayor nathaniel bradstreet shirtliff who was also a doctor was on hand to give a speech along with some other prominent bostonians and on this side of the statue is a quote from isaiah this also coming forth from the load of moses which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in works and I'm just going to read a little bit about what Nathaniel Shirtliff had said, Mayor Shirtliff, when he gave the speech here. He said that on this day of its dedication, Mayor Nathaniel Bradstreet Shirtliff promised that the Etha Monument shall be watched with care and protected from injury. He expressed his hope that this elegant structure long remain unimpaired by time, a memorial of the greatness, the greatest boon ever vouchsafe to suffering humanity in a monument of the gratitude of one of Boston's most worthy citizens. So, we're in Boston. I strongly urge you to take a look at this. And also, there was a lot of controversy over who was the first person to use ether. First time it was used, there was a doctor in Georgia, I believe, in 1842 that claimed uh, that he used it, but the uh, the event at the Ether Dome at the Mass General Hospital was the first time it was publicly used. And even uh, so, the dentist, uh, uh, Mr. Morton, Thomas Morton, and uh, the doctor who actually uh, performed the operation on the patient who was suffering from a tumor. And it's, uh, he was the nephew of uh, Dr. Joseph Warren. His name was John Warren, and he was one of the, um, one of the uh, founders of Mass General Hospital.